Hope you're having a wonderful Thursday, everyone. Meteorologist Joe Martucci here. Thanks for clicking on PressofAC.com for your local South Jersey and Jersey Shore weather. Here's a look at our weather headlines for you. One more comfy day today here, and I removed rain from the forecast during the day. So you do have a dry Thursday on tap. We have one more evening of coastal flooding as well. That will end our streak at 4 and then we take a look at Friday, a few showers and storms after 3 a.m. here. So, yes, that does mean the potential for rain will be in the forecast all day Friday, though I do believe most of your Friday will be dry. We take a look at your buggy cast for your Thursday here. This is 6 a.m., a lot of smiling faces here. It is dry as we go into our Thursday here. Some good news there. The humidity again stays low, and then we, as we go into our Friday here, See more of a straight face, but it's just a little muggy, and then it gets muggier as we go into the afternoon here, and we start to see some additional showers and storms flaring up. More showers and storms during the p.m. hours than during the a.m. hours. We take a look at our future cast for our Thursday. We are dry for most of the day here. See those showers and storms. They stay to our west, at least until the evening, and then they try to push in overnight here. Sometime, again, likely after 3 a.m. This model wants to show a few showers in earlier, but again, I would say after 3 a.m. Friday, a few morning showers, and then afternoon thunderstorms during the afternoon here. No severe weather likely. We go into the evening, that starts to go away. And then by Saturday morning, we will have a dry and a comfortable one as dew points fall back into the dry 50s here. We go into our forecast rainfall totals through Saturday at midnight. Generally light amounts between a tenth to a quarter of an inch in many spots here. Uh, if you were going to be lower, if you were going to be higher, that's just the nature of these summertime pop-up showers and storms. Here's a look at your dog walk forecast for your Thursday. Green paws all around, looking really good to walk the dog or just doing anything outside here. High temperatures will be in the low 80s inland. Over at the shore, we'll be in the upper 70s and a good amount of sunshine again to go around here. We go into Thursday night. Scattered showers, perhaps a thunderstorm. Mainly, this is going to be after 3 a.m. as we go into our Thursday night and Friday morning. We do have another round of coastal flooding as well during this time. Minor flood stage, the kind of flooding we see a couple dozen times a year here. Little to no property damage. And we're talking about three inches or so of water. It's not enough to flood anything, but you don't want to drive it. It is salt water and it will corrode your car. Then as we go into this weekend, looking really nice here. The only blip I see is an inland shower Saturday here. But the beach, the boat, looking fantastic. Any barbecue plants for the most part are going to be okay here. And it's all because high pressure is squeezed in between two low pressure systems, giving us a little sliver of nice weather for us as we go into Saturday and Sunday. We do have rain showers as well to our northeast and to our west here. And again, besides just a weak shower threat Saturday afternoon, we are going to be dry and rain-free over the weekend. Your inland seven day forecast looking like this. Temperatures in the 80s throughout the next seven days at or even below average a little bit here. Overnight lows about seasonable for early August. We're talking again, isolated storms Friday and then isolated shower storm inland on Saturday. We go to the shore. I got a dry forecast for you on Saturday. I think we're gonna be rain free at the coast here that continues into Sunday as well. Notice that heat cranking up as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday here at the coast. Wind should be offshore, kicking away that sea breeze. And if you're looking for another hot and humid stretch, I think we're going to get it sometime around the middle part of the month. And that could last for a couple of days. We'll talk more about that in the forecast ahead. You can follow me on social media for the latest, or you can sign up for our weather newsletter. It comes out every morning in your inbox at pressbc.com slash weather.